God. Good morning, friends. It's Tracy and Violet. Oh, just a minute. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Look at that. You know it's Monday morning. I'm not supposed to be partying Sunday night, for goodness sakes. My compost is tipped over. Oh. Well, it's quarter after five this morning. We're going to have a busy day. I'm making it a busy day. I want to clean my downstairs. So <laughs> I'm taking Violet for her little business meeting. And I don't know what the temperature is, but it's cold. My husband's gone back to the city. My brother and sister-in-law might be stopping in today. I'm using that as fuel to motivate me to get some things done. So I'll meet you when we get back to the house. Because I have a feeling it's going to be maybe a long one today. Maybe. All right, guys, it's quarter to six. So I'm back. I just loaded up uh, a thermos with some leftover egg rolls <laughs> from our Keese's lunch. <laughs> just so I can get that out of my fridge. Came downstairs, the TV's on. My husband left last night, must have left the TV on. I can't, I can't handle that. I can't handle that. No, thank you. But I got my coffee. And <clears throat> oh, I gotta pull this coffee table over without spilling my coffee. What I wanna do today is, I'm saying I wanna do the floors, hopefully I can. Like, besides vacuum, mopping. So, before the kids go on the bus, I'd like to pull out, like, the chair and the trampoline and stuff. And sweep. We'll see. I need to give myself a little time to get this coffee. And their lunches are packed and everything, so I'll just have to wake them up. I'll have to put Mazaya's hair in a fresh pony and send them off on their way. Um, I don't have the van yet. I am supposed to be picking it up tonight, I think, if possible. So when Marquise gets home with the truck, he's going to drive me down to get the van and our four wheelers down there too, or one of our four wheelers. So he'll pick that up with the truck and I'll bring the van back. So I can't go to town today, but that's all right. I'll just get some other stuff done. Anyways, I'm going to have my coffee now. All right. It's six o'clock right on the nose. I kind of inhaled that coffee. Hey, Violet. All right, I'm just going to, I'm just going to dive in. Just going to dive in. I'll give myself, well, I don't even want to put a time frame on it, but I'll work a bit until I have to get the kids up. How's that? All right, out here, I want to take everything that's on the wood and put it on the carpet. I'm dying to vacuum, but I can't vacuum until I do the wood. Oh, God. So, like, that little chair, Violet's toy box, that rocking chair, that rocking chair, the roller skates, putting it all on the carpet. And then I'll do the carpet, and or I'll do the wood, and then the same out here. I mean, the coffee tables there but like the exercise bike I'm not going to use the step or move the step but the weight bench maybe like the well I probably won't have to but yeah but I might do this room after because I want to pull out the couches I don't want to but I need to okay I just need to get it done so I'll take a couple before pictures and um yeah All right, so this room, I pulled everything out. I wanna do the windows, the baseboards, and the floor. I'll top it off with the cherry on top and vacuum the carpet. But, yeah. There, and there, and under the desk. And I wanna do the same to over here. So, 
I don't know. What I'm going to do now, though, is do this room. Um, I'll set you guys up, but I want to wash the windows. It's still going to be dark outside, probably. And wash the baseboards, and then I'll sweep. What time is it? 6.12. So if I can get this room swept before I have to wake the kids up, that would be fantastic. So, yeah, let's do that. Alright friends, it's 6.33. I swept, did the windows, did the baseboards, and I just, Violet, don't mess with that. Oh, where is it? There. Bucket of water. Hot water and some 50% off Mr. Clean wood cleaner. That's what I'm using today because I only have a little bit left in the bottle. I'm going to mop this floor. I won't do the hallway and dining room and living room until all the kids are gone because I still got to clean out there but um, they can avoid coming into this room for now but I'm going to do that real quick then I'll go get the kids up for school. What do you got, Violet? If you got a pair of socks, so it's swear to God. What do you got? You do have a sock. You turkey monster. Goodness sakes, I swear she has a ton of toys, but socks seem to be her favorite. Oh. There. It looks a mess now, but once that floor dries, I can put some stuff back. And it's 20 to 7. Um, I might just put some of the stuff up on the carpet and then go get the kids up, so I'll be back. 
No, I'm gonna save this row till after because I want to vacuum the Chesterfields, like the couches first, and then I'll pull them out and do underneath, and then I'll do the floors and all that stuff. So, I know you can't see over here. Let me turn the light on. I have racks of towels. I'll take those off right now. Oh, a rack there, a rack way over there, a rack there, and a rack here. So I'm going to move that because I do want to do this floor too. And I can take care of those towels when I go up to get the kids up for school. got out here just in time really just in time but it's that kind of a morning good morning <laughs> what yeah knocked over the compost having a party <laughs> oh I can't do that <laughs> he, he pretended he had like a shotgun or something I can't do that <laughs> There they go. Look at that though. Paper towel and stuff. I need to deal with that, but I'm not doing that right now, Violet. I know we didn't get out very much. Yeah, it's a nice uh, fall day. I had Christmas music playing for when the kids came down in the kitchen. And Marquise is getting ready to go to. What are you doing, Violet? Do you have to have a poop? I didn't have one this morning. She might. Just a minute. She is. Exciting. All right. I don't want to lose momentum. So what I'm going to do now um, is take all the cushions off the couches and vacuum those and vacuum the cushions and put them back on. And that way, then I can pull them out and do underneath. And once I'm done all that section, then I can do the rest of the floor and, you know, the carpet and windows and everything so yeah oh god well, I'll do the first one right here I'm scared to look under it but I'm sure it's nasty oh not too bad just some dust and stuff I say that and voila oh not too bad there's a black sock the other one must be better or it must be worse Oh God, they can't all be that good. Oh yeah, here they are. A Halloween chip bag, an old mask, a coffee cup lid, 10 cents. So I'm just gonna get a bag, like a garbage bag for this stuff. And that way I can vacuum it all. But I'll start with this one first. And, yeah. What do you think, Viola? Huh? Oh, yeah. All right. Um, I'm just about to do the vacuum, or the couch, but I got this little, it's pet turbo. Like, Violet doesn't shed. I mean, occasionally you'll get a little cotton ball, but it's just because she's been scratching her ear or something. But she doesn't shed, so it's not really pet turbo eraser, but I'm going to use that attachment I'll probably use the, like, the big kahuna and lift it up there and vacuum and then go in with this and try it. We'll see. I forget if I've used this before or not. I don't know. I don't know.
All right. I ran out of space on my phone, so while I was deleting stuff off, it takes a minute for it to actually delete it. I vacuumed the cushions, the ones you sit on, and the ones on the back, front and back of them, and put them on the couch. So now I want to pull these couches out. They slide out easy. They're not big, heavy couches. And do under them, and then I can push them back, and then I can do my regular clean out here. It's just this is something I've been procrastinating about. I know there's stuff under the couch. I know there's stuff behind it. There's got to be. I haven't done this in months, and it's going to be embarrassing, but it's real life, and that's what it is what it is. So let me pull them out, and I'll show you my disaster. Oh, Violet, it's going to be something. Now, just look at that. Yeah, I'm throwing everything in the garbage, except for that book, because that's a library book. But besides that, it's all gone. All gone. All right. I swept, I mopped, I wiped the baseboards. Whew. Mally still hasn't uh, come downstairs, but it's 8.05 in the morning. Not too shabby. Whew. All right. There's a gun over there. Play one. Don't worry. Oh. Yeah. I just want to get this done. And uh, my goal is to get it done before Mally catches the bus. Seriously, Violet? So, this couch, like the back leg, comes off. I did the same routine. Baseboards swept, vacuumed, mopped. So... I'm going to push these back, this one first, because i got to play around with that leg, and then I can push the little one back. All right, guys, it's 8.29. Mally and Violet just went outside. I'm just bringing the compost out to set these guys straight. And there's recycle bags I need to go throw over on the back of the truck, because I just don't want that. I don't look like a garbage house, if you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. But yeah, it's chilly out. It's very fall-like. Yes, Violet, I'm just going to the compost. You can tie her to that, or is she hooked to that thing? The long leash that's hooked to the tree? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to pick him up. Dang it. Oh. All right. I love you. Okay. Oh, Violet. Well, this is a good way to cool off because I was getting hot in the house. There they go. Oh, I swept a little bit more. Not all of the wood in the TV room yet, but just the stuff over by the exercise bike. So I just need to do over on the other side of the carpet. Yes, Violet. Oh. Yeah, Mally wasn't even looking. She wasn't even looking. No, she won't. Oh. Just a minute. Just a minute. It's your wiener. All right. So I got those garbage bags. There's a basketball. That's the compost bucket I need to bring in the house. But move that away from the door, so doesn't look so junky. Basketball will stay. The three walking sticks <laughs> and that stuff will stay but yeah anyways. All right friends I after Mally went on the bus I just had some water. Sat down about 20 minutes but I gotta keep moving because once I sit down for any length of time really it's harder to get back up. So um, I swept over there like the wood, I need a sweep, a sweep here, Violet, right here, yes, yes, and then I'm going to quickly mop that real quick, and then we'll start working on the dining room.
All right. Well, I wiped off the coffee table and the toy box and the TV stand and swept and mopped. I didn't show you all that, but I did it. The windows um, over here, the piano, that Dollarama bag over there is some Halloween candy. And Misha's Halloween candy. They need to do something with that. I'm listening to Christmas music. So uh, let me uh, just show you here real quick. Let me pause my music. All right. So it's not too cluttery, but that's that toilet paper I got yesterday, 50% off. Um, there's a thing there. Alice is here, but this is where she hangs out. Um, I gotta, I'm not gonna bring those up in the attic, but I'm gonna straighten them and just give Augustus a good wipe down. And there's a bag of rocks, Misha's. Um, but I am gonna pull the chairs out and vacuum before uh, I do the floor floor just because just because I want to. So I'll pull them out, clean the table off, give them a wipe down. I'm not going to do all crazy clean, but, you know, at least his his uh, shirt, like the top of him, his top hat, whatever you want to call it. And then Esther here, I'll give her a wipe down and wipe my girl's door glasses and this window. And, yeah, I just need to, just to make it fresh. That... You know, just to make it fresh.
Okay, I mopped all around the table. I just didn't show you over there because I was mopping myself into a corner. So I did a couple backflips and got out of that room. The music's still playing and my water bottle's out in the friggin' kitchen. Dang it. Because I'm hot now. But I want to do the bathroom. I'll probably just do that quickly, like myself. I find it it's hard to film in the bathroom. Um... And then we'll move out to the kitchen. You're still on my tripod, just a sec. A sec. Yeah, so we're doing good for time. It's 10.08. Whew. Um, I did put a load of laundry in this morning, which is done now. So I will have to set up at least one rack for towels, but that's fine. I just wanted to get the room clean first before I did that. Oh, and I did the baseboards all around there. Um, after I was done vacuuming, I shut you guys off, but I took the handle out and did up around the corners and down under. Oh, I still got to do that table where the air ventilator thing is, air purifier thing. Um, but yeah, and I need to get a shepherd's pie out of the deep freezer and put that in the oven because that's what I'm thinking we're going to have for supper so I don't have to worry about cooking or making a mess after I clean up so I don't think I'm gonna take everything off my counters and do it that because I did that the other day but I will spray and wipe my counters what I can reach and I would like to steam mop my kitchen and my bathroom but I'm just gonna give myself a little bit of a break so that floor can dry I can rest but not get lazy and then we'll finish on. My goal is to get all this stuff done before lunchtime. And then I'll have a couple of hours just to veg. And yeah, then the kids will get home. Then Marquise will get home like around supper time or shortly thereafter. But we're going to be taking right off. I told Marquise, I'm like, I want to go as soon as you get home. And I feel bad because he's been working all day. But he's using the truck. He's, you know being able to go to his job and all that stuff you can just go down pick up the four-wheeler drop me off I'll get the van bring it back lickety split we will be gone and back before you know it so um, I can at least have supper ready for the kids and Mally will be here anyways uh, to watch the other kids I mean honestly I think my kids could stay home by themselves but I just don't feel comfortable <laughs> but Mally's old enough Mazai is pretty well old enough but um, yeah, so, but really I'll be gone just a little over an hour there and back as long as I just, we go right there. I want to take the back way, like the dirt roads. I find it's quicker. People say it is something people say it isn't. You don't meet any cars hardly and you can just go bypass Kyle and Nathan and yeah, it's all good. So I'll be back. Feed the world is playing out there. It's Christmas time and feed the world. Oh, Merry Christmas in November. All right, friends, it's 11.03. I just unloaded my phone and had this video edited up up until now. It was like an hour and a half. And now it's squished down to 32 minutes and I didn't take anything out. <laughs> but I just fast paced, you know, the cleaning and stuff that I did. <clears throat> and put the music to it and whatnot but that's what we're gonna do and I haven't done the bathroom yet but a lot of that stuff on the table is just water bottles and stuff I gotta get the dishwasher going sweep the floor the fire was going yesterday so there's coals in there and it's nice and cozy in here and I actually might throw a couple pieces of wood in there not to have a roaring fire but just to make it cozy and yeah we'll listen to a bit of Christmas music while we do this room. But I wanted to get my editing going before I run out of steam later on today because you know what's coming. You know what's coming. And that way I won't fall too far behind. But before I do anything, I'm going to find a shepherd's pie now. And uh, I'll just put it in the oven low, uh, 250, 300, and let it go all afternoon. I'm going to find one. All right, I forgot I had a tater tot casserole from September 10th. I came across that first, so it's tater tot casserole instead of shepherd's pie. They won't be complaining, that's for sure. So I'm going to take this out and I'll show you what it looks like. 
All right, it's hard as a rock, but I'm going to tent some foil over top of it. I'll spray the underside of it so the cheese doesn't stick to it, and I'll put it on a cookie sheet. Put it in at 300. It's only 11.13 now, and it will be done by supper time. All right, friends, it's 12.03. I was trying to rush around. I didn't really film me doing this, but I just steam mopped here. So I swept, steam mopped, wiped the stove, the sink, the counter, got the dishwasher going, the table. The bottom cupboard front of the doors because there was some drips on some of them but if you do one you got to do them all because then all the rest look filthy so yeah and I did the table legs going down because they were filthy <laughs> stuff you don't think about doing but I did it today so that's awesome oh gosh yeah that tater tot casserole's in the oven let me turn you around Ooh, I look like a rough ticket might have to jump in the shower after but um I'm going to sit down a minute and then I'm just going to tackle the bathroom. Um, it won't take long. I'll leave the steam mop out, sweep it, wipe the counter. I'm not going to clean the shower today because I did that the other day. And my husband is really the only one that showers downstairs. I always shower upstairs. So he's gone all week. And clean the sink and the mirror. Oh, but I think it's time to sit down a minute. I did bring out a laundry basket. And there's laundry I should have switched before I did the floor, but that won't take very long to dry. Then I'll rotate that, so we'll be sitting pretty. All right, I just did the bathroom. Oh, I can see streaks. That drives me crazy. But, yeah, done, done. I just need to wait for this to dry. And I put the chairs back. I need to put that mat back. But... The dishwasher's done. I just opened it so it cools down. But, yeah, feeling good. I'm going to go put a piece of wood in the fire. And what time is it? Let me just see here. 12.56. I sat down for a little bit because my feet are, my dogs are barking. I actually might make a cup of coffee. I would like a cup of tea, but I want something to make sure I don't get too sleepy. But, yeah. All right, guys, it's about 2.35, 37, something like that. Just brought Violet out. I had to put a sweater on. I should have put my husband's thing on. It's cooler than I thought it was going to be, but I'm glad I have that fire going. Like, it's not roaring or anything, but it's really just nice, the perfect temperature in the kitchen. Um, I just pretty much laid on the couch. I was going to try to read, but I was getting sleepy. I did have a coffee, and... um. I just watched a bit of YouTube a little bit, and I was, I would have went upstairs to have a little kink, but I was scared, what if my brother comes and his wife comes, and my doorbell doesn't work, and they don't think anybody's home because there's no vehicles here, so I was like, I'll just stay on the couch. <laughs> they're probably not even going to come today, because they're coming all the way from Cape Breton, I just wanted, in preparation I haven't seen them in years, and it's going to be exciting. So, yeah. But I just shut that tater tot casserole off. I didn't check it, but I can smell it, so it's defrosted enough. It's fine. Uh, and it's warmed up because I can smell it. So, yeah. Just waiting for the kids to get back, but I'm feeling really accomplished tomorrow. Depending on how I feel tomorrow morning. <laughs> I want to try to start to do upstairs like the landing up where I edit my videos like you know just up there and do the bathroom and that sort of thing just to give it a good once over and uh yeah that's my plan anyways but oh god I should have a hat I'm gonna go get a hat just a minute <sighs> that's better <laughs> this is the one I got at the dollar store yesterday <laughs> doesn't really fit down over my sunglasses proper, but yeah, the back of my neck's cold. <coughs> there she is. Just horsing around. She's got her halter top on. Oh, is that the bus coming? Just a minute, I'll flip you around. Oh god, I'm chilled. I'm cold, Violet. Come sit on my lap, please. She won't come over. She's like my emergency furnace when I need one. I hope to heck that's the bus coming. Let's see who gets off first. The 
they all got their jackets on. Maze has his hood on. Oh. <laughs> There's Messiah said it. I'm cold. Aren't you guys cold? Are you cold? No doubt there might be a chance about pee in this pile. I didn't see her pee in there. So how was school? Oh, I'm shaking. I'm sorry, guys. So how was school? Good. Did anybody fall back? <laughs> in their chair? Yeah. Um, Malcolm did. Did he? Was he okay? Yeah. Did he laugh? Uh -huh. Did you laugh? <laughs> how was your day, Bob? That's good. How come you don't got your jacket on all the way? Aren't you cold? Oh my my. You what? It's not cold outside. I'm cold. I don't know. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. All right, friends. I just took this out of the oven. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, sa. Uh, yeah, was I want some now, so I'm gonna get it out now for her. And oh, it's smelling good. All right, guys, you're on my little tripod thing. What? Oh, just hold, hold on a sec. All right, let me get some plates. We should want some. gonna all fall apart so I should get like a spoon sort of thing. Oh yeah this is perfect. Perfect perfect on the edges. This is quite rich, so they don't have a whole great big bunch. Um, they're going to have the option. Well, they've already eaten the last four oranges I had for their lunches. So when I, after I go get the van on my way back, I'll probably stop to the grocers. I might bring Maze's winter jacket that I tried to bring back yesterday to get for a bigger size. Stop to the big W. I don't want to do all this stuff, but um, see if they have a bigger size and just exchange it and stop and get what did I say I was going to get? I was just saying what the heck is going on with me? I don't know, it'll come to me in a sec there, talking about Maze's jacket I don't know It in one ear out the other or, you know, just gone with the wind but there, just drizzle, zigzag, ketchup over top. I'm going to take some out for Marquise because he's not home yet. But he will eat this for sure. I'll let him have one bite before he goes, before we go. Nisha, do you want any ketchup? It's, uh, Misha's not generally a ketchup girl. She likes mustard, but on this she, she doesn't get. There, I'll get you off so I can get a better picture. Well, here's more of an aerial view. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know if that's what I was talking about, but I'm 
gonna give them some carrot sticks and stuff if they uh, want that but they want this right now so my kids eat all day long so what you gonna do but I'm telling you today was the perfect day for a freezer meal All right, everybody's done their supper, and I told the kids I'll have a special job for them to do. I told them to go get their shoes on. They're all excited. I'm going to send them down the basement to each get five pieces of wood to fill up the wood box. <laughs> so I don't have to do it, and Marquise is not going to be able to do it today anyway, so they can do it. Five pieces each, piece of cake. All right, Violet even went down. Just bring one piece up at a time, bub. Okay. It's not empty, but... It's getting there, and I want a full wood box. Okay, just drop it in there. Oh, there? Yes. Well, I want to fill up this box, and I don't know how many arm loads you guys can bring up to fill up this box. But good job, Bub. He's got some wood gloves on. Just watch out for Misha's fingers. I'll line them up if need be. Yes, you can. You can fill it up. Just watch out for Mally. Back up or move out of the way. Excellent. Thank you. No. I win. <laughs> she really didn't want to do it. I'll just tidy it up here a bit. Mally, Misha asked, can I do 10? Heck yes, do 10. Do 20 if you want to, as long as the box gets filled. Ooh, look at that. Look at those muscles. Look at her. <laughs> Violet. I asked Mel if there were rats in the basement. If she there's said, what? If there were rats in the basement. Oh. She said yes. She said she's all on with the ponytail. Oh, really? <laughs> it's supposed to be you? Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Mally. All right. Doing good, Zai. Oh, Teamwork. Oh, Teamwork. Oh, Don't lock us out. You go down there and help those guys, uh, uh, Violet. Yeah. Come on. You have not had a key today, sir. So Come on. Not me, you wiener. Yeah. Get in there. This just was a spur of the moment kind of thing to try. I'm like, that's perfect. I'll lock you out. Don't lock me out. They can share the load, and it's kind of fun when they're little like this, you know. Oh, maze. How many is that? Three? Yep. Oh, boy. Look at that. Yeah, you put it down, and then you get it in the wood box. Don't pinch your fingers. Oh. Thank you, maze. Thank you so much. Oh, not too shabby. All right, guys. Well, I'm heading to town. We're not end up, We're not going to get the van today. I guess it's not quite ready, which is fine, but I still need to spin to town. I got Maze's winter jacket with me. I'll see if I can switch it out for a little bit of bigger size. And I messaged my brother. He's at Dad's. Uh, I was talking to him earlier and saying, yeah, you can come out, but I won't be home till about 7 o'clock. But then I told him, I'm like, scratch that. You can come out anytime after supper. I'll be home. Right, you know, it's not quite, they haven't eaten supper yet. So I'm just going to spin in real quick to Walmart and Superstore and come out. I'm just driving the big bed truck. I'm going to listen to my audiobook. Yeah, it's kind of disappointing. 
but it's all right. We'll make do. The kids are outside playing, but Marquise and Mally are there. Um, Mazaya, Misha, and Maze are outside playing hide and go seek. I said, don't go near the road, and once it starts getting dark, you guys go in the house. But I should be back by then. Yesterday by six o'clock, it was like dark out. It was like nighttime out. So anyways, it's starting to get that way now, but not quite. All right, I stopped to the Walmart and they don't have the jackets out yet, for goodness sakes. But I'm just gonna pop into Superstore. It's right next door to see what I can find real quick. And then I'm heading home. All right, guys, it's like five after 10. <laughs> My brother and sister-in-law just left. When I got home, they were here. And I'll tell you about it in a sec, but this is what I got in town. I stopped at Walmart and I, I couldn't change that jacket, but I got another one of those $11 book bags. Oh, there's something in here. What is it that I got? Oh, I got a little shirt for Eddie for Christmas, $3. He'll be here for Christmas. This is like navy blue. I know it's hard to tell, but I thought three dollars. I could roll that up and put it in a suitcase. If they can't fit it back, he can have it while he's here for the month. You know what I mean? That and I got one of these book bags that are usually thirty four ninety nine on for eleven dollars. So I got three yesterday. No, I got two yesterday. My husband got one the day before that. Now we have four, so I will not have to buy book bags next school year. Awesome. I don't buy them unless I need them, but now I don't even have to worry about it. Awesome. Um, I bought two bags of chips because Tostito chips. I have salsa here. It'd be good for kids' lunches or if I make nachos for supper or something. Two things of bagels. I forgot to get cream cheese. I thought of this on a whim. I was like, oh, I'll get some bagels and cream cheese. I can put that in the lunch. Totally forgot the cream cheese. So if I go to a store, I'm going to get some, but I have these for now. And I did get four things of beans, even though I have my own canned ones, but uh, two things of black beans, and this is like a mixture, like a medley. Um, I'm going to probably make chili tomorrow for supper. And I did get, let me turn you around. I did get cans of like lemonade uh, and Diet Cola, like the PC brand, just because they were coming for a visit, makes it kind of a party a little bit. They'll be here, you know, for the week, but, you know, we had a wonderful time. They, I got back home probably around 6.30, and they really just left now, and they could have stayed all night for all I cared. It would have been wonderful, but we played cards, um, a game called, well, Butthole, but not Butthole, you know what I'm saying? It's a really simple, fun game. I forgot how to play it, but I picked it right back up. It was fun. <clears throat> Us and the kids played. And then, like, they were, Maze brought down all his wrestlers and his ring and watching wrestling things on TV. And Misha brought down all her books and showed the rocks and all that stuff. Just trying to get to bond with their aunt and uncle that they haven't seen in almost five years. You know what I mean? So, it was just a really good time. And Messiah and Mally were down for a while. Marquise came down. Yeah, it was just, it was a really good time. They're coming out tomorrow, too, which will be fantastic. Hopefully I can get a chance to introduce you guys, but I didn't want to just, oh, say hi to everybody without talking to them first. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, I'm going to end this now because the kids are getting ready for bed now, but that's okay. Um, and yeah, I want to put them to bed. Violet's over there snacking. She, <laughs> she was a little nervous of them. She wouldn't go near them at all. It was funny, but, um, yeah. Anyways, uh, thanks for hanging out with me today. I got a lot of stuff done. I plan on doing a lot of stuff tomorrow. Hopefully, depending on how I'm feeling. And, yeah. Use this as fuel to motivate me to get off my butt to get some stuff done. So, alright guys, with that I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning. And, no, I said, I should say, peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, all right, guys. My house is still fairly nice and neat. And 
I'll be able to get back at it tomorrow morning. So with that, I'll say have a good night or have a good morning. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.